हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर रमेश कोठारी फ्रॉम सौराष्ट्र यूनिवर्सिटी राजकोट गुजरात टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट पार्ट बी दैट इज पॉलीसेकेराइड्स अंडर द पेपर कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिज्म सो स्टूडेंट्स let us see what we are going to learn in this module we are going to learn introduction and properties of polysaccharides about homopolysaccharides and its properties and we will also discuss about heteropolysaccharides and its properties molecules which contain hundreds and thousands of monosaccharide link to link into long chain are called polysaccharides depending on the polysaccharide the chain may be linear or branched in animal excess glucose is stored as a large branched polysaccharide which is called glycogen whereas in most plant the storage form of glucose is in the form of polysaccharide and it is called starch bacteria and yeast store glucose as yet another type of polysaccharide which is called dextran in each case of these are nutritional reservoir when required they are broken down and the monosaccharide products are metabolized and enters in the central metabolic pathway to yield energy during metabolic pathways metabolic process in contrast cellulose is a structural polysaccharide used to make plant cell wall polysaccharides when formed by the same kind of monosaccharides they are called homopolysaccharides an example are starch glycogen and cellulose which are formed each of them by hundreds of molecule of glucose linked by glycosidic linkages on the other hand poly heteropolysaccharides contain two or more different kind of monosaccharides usually they provide extra cellular support for organism of all kingdom the bacterial cell envelope or the matrix that hold individual cell together in an animal tissue and provides protection shape and support to cells tissue and organs our body requires diverse type of food to carry out a variety of functions to maintain the various metabolic activities and to sustain growth we can classify food largely into carbohydrates protein foods and fat foods fats help in long term storage of energy and cannot be utilized right away protein facilitate building muscles and tissue the carbohydrates is the can be broken down immediately into glucose provide us the energy required to do immediate work a molecule of carbohydrate consisting a number of molecule of sugar linked together by glycosidic linkages is called 
a polysaccharide. For instance, storage polysaccharide such as starch and glycosin and structural polysaccharide such as cellulose and chitin. Polysaccharide figure shows various type of polysaccharides that are amylose, amylopectin, glycogen. Polysaccharides give the constituent monosaccharides or oligosaccharide when they hydrolyze either naturally or deliberately. They are either linear or extremely branch structure. Polysaccharides are heterogeneous due to minor modification of a repeating unit and based on the structure. These macromolecules have different properties compared to their monomeric building blocks. Polysaccharides can be amorphous and even insoluble in water. If you see the amylose and amylopectin, the amylose is a linear structure while the amylopectin has branch structure. If you see the concept map of polysaccharides, homosaccharide examples are starch, glycogen, cellulose, inulin, and chitin. In heteropolysaccharide, example are agar, gum, arabic, pectin, hyal neuronic acid, heparin, chondritin, sulfates. You know that agar, which is highly used in as a solidifying agent in preparation of bacteriological medium. It is a polymer, heteropolymer. Polysaccharides are of two kind, homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides based on type of monosaccharide they consist. Polysaccharides consisting the same type of monosaccharide is called homopolysaccharides. Homo means same kind and polysaccharide consisting more than one type of monosaccharides are called heteropolysaccharide. Hetero means more than one kind. If you see in the figure the yellow color structure shows the monomeric unit of homopolysaccharide same way the different color hexagonal structure show the different type of heteropolysaccharide. How are polysaccharide processed in our body? We take polysaccharide in different form. The food we eat is mixed with enzymes released by the body at various points to assist in the digestion of the diverse molecule like carbohydrates, fats, as well as proteins chewing help in break apart the carbohydrate into smaller pieces. It is in the stomach followed by a small intestine and the ultimate background to the polysaccharides occurs. The acid release in the stomach breaks this polysaccharide into monosaccharides. These monosaccharides are glucose molecules and are basic source of energy. The glucose is further broken down in the cell into molecules of adenosine triphosphate in order to be utilized by the body to perform work as and when needed. Now, let's see how are polysaccharides processed in our body. The food we eat 
is mixed with enzymes released by the body at various points to assist in the digestion of diverse molecules like carbohydrates, fats as well as proteins. Chewing helps in break apart the carbohydrate into smaller pieces. It is in the stomach followed by the small intestine that the ultimate breakdown of polysaccharides occurs. The acid release in the stomach breaks these polysaccharides into monosaccharides. These monosaccharides are glucose molecules and are basic source of energy. The glucose is further broken down in the cell into molecules of adenosine triphosphate in order to be utilized by the body to perform work as and when needed. Now if you see the property of polysaccharides, carbohydrates composed of 10 or more monosaccharides units are generally classified as polysaccharides and their molecules are colloidal in size. Polysaccharides may be considered as condensation polymers in which the monosaccharides are joined together by glycosidic linkage. Polysaccharides are also termed as glycans. Polysaccharides when composed of a single monosaccharides building block are called homopolysaccharides. They are also known as homoglycans. On the other end, when polysaccharides are composed of more than one type of monosaccharides are called heteropolysaccharides or auto, it is also known as heteroglycans. Glucose polysaccharides are glucans, fructose polysaccharides are fructans and polysaccharides made up of mannose and xylose are called mannins and xylins respectively. Some polysaccharides contain units that are derivatives of monosaccharides, for example, chitin. Properties of uh, polysaccharides. Chitin is made up of amino sugar, glucosamine and hyaluronic acid is composed of glucuronic acid and glucosamine. Monosaccharides unit of polysaccharides are joined by glycosidic linkage. The polysaccharides are readily hydrolyzed by mineral acid but are resistant to alkaline hydrolysis. Homopolysaccharide example starch figure shows the structure of uh, starch that is amylose and amylopectin. Starch presents as insoluble granules in the cell cytoplasm. Starch is a mixture of uh, two polymer. These are amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is a linear polysaccharide and amylopectin is a highly branched polysaccharide. Amylose the constituents of starch in which glucose unit are linked by alpha D14 glycosidic bond to form linear chain. The level of uh, amylose and its molecular weight vary between different type of starch. Amylose molecule are normally made from 200 to 2000 glucose unit. Aqueous solution of amylose are 
very unstable because of uh, intermolecular attraction and association of uh, neighboring amylose molecule. Amylose form a helical complex when attested with iodine giving a characteristic blue color. Amylopectin. Amylopectin is the branch form most of the constituent of uh, glucose residue are joined by alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds and additional alpha D1,6 glycosidic bonds every after 25 to 30 residue from the branch structure. Glycogen. Figure show the chemical structure of uh, glycogen. Glycogen like starch yield glucose upon acid hydrolysis, hence is a polymer of glucose. Glycogen occurring widespread in animal tissue, especially liver and muscles, which give a red, brown, red or at a time violet color with iodine. Glycogen is highly branched structure. The chain glycosidic linkage is alpha 1,4. The branching occurs with a glycosidic linkage of alpha 1,6. Beta amylase act upon glycogen to give considerable amount of maltose indicating the presence of alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage. Cellulose. Following is the structure of uh, chemical structure of cellulose. Cellulose is another polymer of uh, monosaccharide glucose. Cellulose is the disaccharide obtained by the hydrolysis of uh, cellulose. Indicate that the linkage of uh, glucose units in cellulose are as they are in the cellulose. It is resistant to hydrolysis and require action of strong acids. Cellulase is capable of uh, hydrolyzing cellulose are absent from animal digestive juice and hence it cannot be digested by human being. Cellulose also known as plant fiber. Plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. It is also insoluble in water. The glucose units in cellulose form a two-dimensional structure with hydrogen bonds holding together nearby polymers thus giving the molecule more stability which makes cellulose different from starch and glycosin. Cellulose is not soluble in water and does not give a characteristic reaction with iodine. Cellulose cannot be used as energy source because of its complexity but cellulose fiber is essential in nutrition as it helps the digestive tract exercising and keep it healthy and clean. Inulin. Following is the structure of uh, inulin. Inulin is a polysaccharide composed of uh, D fructose. It occurs as the reserve carbohydrate in the tubers. Inulin is a white more or less crystalline powder. It is readily soluble in hot but slightly soluble in cold water. Inulin when heated with water it does not gelatinize like starch. It is also utilized as a food and is used as a source of commercial fructose. Chitin following figure shows the chemical structure of chitin. Chitin is a condensation product 
of uh, acetyl glucosamine it is the structural material of arthropoda it forms the exoskeleton of the crustaceans insects the chitin molecules are the chain of acetyl glucosamine units linked similarly as the glucose unit in cellulose chitin is highly resistant to the action of solvent and of bacteria heteropolysaccharide agar following is the chemical structure of uh, agar agar is a vegetable mucilage is obtained from seaweed it is a sulfuric acid ester of a complex galactose polysaccharide agar is odorless and tasteless it swells strongly in cold water but does not dissolve it dissolves in hot water to form a sol which upon cooling set as a gel it is very valuable as supporting agent in bacterial culture media agar has characteristic to solidify when it comes below 45 degree temperature above 45 degree temperature it liquefy in its solid form it is used to study the colony characteristic of fungi and bacteria in microbiological laboratories so it is very important heteropolysaccharide used in research gum arabic following is the structure chemical structure of gum arabic vegetable gums are carbohydrates materials containing hexoses or pentoses or both in glycoside union and a carbohydrate acid group hydrolysis of gums usually yield galactose and arabinose or xylose alone or in mixtures gum arabic is one of the important and best non gum it is used in the preparation of uh, pharmaceuticals in confection and as an adhesive pectin following is the chemical structure of pectin pectin is found especially in the pulp of citrus fruit apple beets and carrots pectin is the term used to represent the substances or substance which is the presence of sugar and proper acid concentration cause the formation of jellies commercial pectin is generally prepared from cull lemon or apple pomes pectin is combined with cellulose in the cell wall from which it may be released by mild hydrolysis or other means and convert to soluble pectin insoluble pectin is referred to as protopectin hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is so as an integral part of the gel like compound substances of connective and other tissue and as a lubricant and shock absorbent in joints it appears to be an unbranched or nearly unbranched chain polymer of n acetylated hyaluronic acid units hyaluronic acid upon hydrolysis yield equimolar quantities of d glucosamine d glucuronic acid and acetic acid in tissue it act as a cementing substance and contribute to tissue barrier which permit metabolites to pass through but resist penetration by bacteria and other 
infective agents. Heparin. Heparin is blood anticoagulant. It is present in liver, lung, thymus, spleen and blood. It is polymer of D-glucuronic acid and D-glucosamine. In this amino group and some of the hydroxyl group are combined with sulfuric acid. The chondritoin sulfate are among the principal mucopolysaccharides in the ground substance of mammalian tissue and cartilage and occur combined with proteins. Three chondritoin sulfates are isolated and designated as chondritin A, chondritin B and chondritin C. Chondritoin sulfate A is present in the cartilage, adult bone and cornea. Chondritoin sulfate B is present in the skin, heart, valve and tandem. Chondritoin sulfate C is present in the cartilage and tendon. Chondritoin sulfate A and C appears to be made of equimolar quantities of N-acetyl, 2-amino, 2-deoxy, D-galactose, D-glucuronic acid and sulfuric acid. Chondritoin sulfate B also known as heparin and more frequently designated dimethyl sulfate from skin is the sulfate of a polysaccharide composed of l aduronic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine. So students, let's summarize what we have learned in this module. Polysaccharides serve as stored fuel and as structural component of cell wall and extracellular matrix. The homopolysaccharides, starch and glycogen are stored fuels in plant, animal and bacterial cells. They consist of D-glucose with linkages and all three contains some branches. The homopolysaccharides, cellulose, chitin and dextrans serve a structural unit, for example, cellulose. Lends strength and rigidity to the plant cell walls. Chitin strengthen the exoskeleton of arthropods, while dextrin form an adhesive coat around certain bacteria. Heteropolysaccharide provides extracellular support to very different organisms from bacteria to human being. Together with fibrous proteins like collagen, elastin, fibrinectins, laminin and others. Heteropolysaccharides are the most important component of extracellular matrix. High linoric acid, chondroitin sulfates and dimethyl sulfates are important heteropolysaccharide in extracellular matrix. These heteropolysaccharides usually formed by the repetition of disaccharide unit of an amino sugar and an acid sugar. So this is all about polysaccharide. Thank you very much.